What is up YouTube and welcome to this stat video here. So if you're new to the channel and you did enjoy the video, please do consider subscribing down below with notifications on. And if you already are subscribed, please do consider clicking that like button at the end if you did enjoy the video. So we're going to be discussing the Black Panther post credit scenes and also when X-Men will actually be turning up in the MCU as well as this the comic which i've been the most hyped for this is the flash war prelude and it it was amazing now i was going to do as well some dark knight metal issue the latest issue that's come out but i haven't had time to actually read that and i haven't picked that up just yet i just picked that up but my store was actually out of metal so i'm going to have to pick that up possibly next week so i'll probably do a video probably get it on digital but enough about that that's at the end so the black panther post credit scenes have been confirmed and we are going to be having two post credit scenes so black panther a film which i am really really excited for it is destroying every single comic book movie in the kind of pre-order pre-sales whatever you call them and it is just crushing it it is amazing the the goodwill behind this movie is insane it is wonder woman level shilling for the kind of the diversity in this movie which is a good thing it, it, it just looks amazing you've got michael b jordan in here you've got daniel kalua who i have been a fan of since skins first aired in 2005 here in the uk he is an amazing actor you may know him from a little film called get out and well he's going to be super excited even for a character which eh, i never really like the comics that much but the film has got critical rave reviews as well but here th this is a film which is transcending the mcu this could this is going to possibly be bigger than the mcu this is it it's kind of wonder woman moment where it kind of transcends anyone who really cares about comic books and they just want to see a really fun and diverse film which is what we're getting but as mcu stan shields whatever you want to damn call a fanboy a fanboy's a fanboy let's call him a stan or a shill he's a you're a fanboy so what we've got here is the fact that there has been a anonymous tip on a reddit which if that shouldn't ring alarm bells whether this is true or not well it does sound to me like this is a possible truth in the fact that the, one of the post credit scenes will feature Tony Stark and Tony Stark will be contacting T'Challa in Wakanda warning of an interstellar threat. So we will see Tony Stark possibly turn up in Wakanda and then warn of Thanos who is coming to Earth. And I expect his, he's probably got like a hell of a load of satellites or something like that. And he is able to recognise that there is a threat coming. And well, this then cuts to Thor. And on his kind of lifeboat thingy that he's had at the end of Thor Ragnarok. We actually see Thanos' ship about to board. the, Or kind of like about to attack the the ship that the all the Asgardians were on. So the Shank Sanctuary 2, which is his ship, is actually going to attack this so that that's really big as well so there is a second one as well which apparently is big apparently it will set up things moving forward after avengers 4 and into the next marvel phase well what could that be it's not namor the submariner that's been confirmed that namor will not be in this now the the, the obvious kind of one you would say is well obviously it's going to set up x-men fantastic four or something like that but kevin feige has said that X-Men will not be in the MCU, at least until after 2020. He's mentioned that the deal has not been struck, the deal has not been done yet. They Obviously, it's got to go through all of the entire regulators and things like that, so it's a long, 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 long way off just yet. So, the X-Men will not feature in the MCU until after well, it's going to be quite a while until this ever they're ever going to feature. And even then, you've got to kind of get a director. You've got to get a script together, which I'm sure they're probably working on right now at some point. 
but at least you've got to get the whole production together and it takes quite a while you've got post production as well so it will take a long long time probably not until maybe 2021 2022 till we probably see an x-men movie in the mcu but that's if they have an x-men movie so they could at least bring the characters into existing movies or post credit scenes so that's what they could probably do there so the question is who could this actually be well it could set up other characters in the mcu or in the marvel universe this could set up or maybe hint towards beta ray bill it could hint towards more and more things moving forward maybe they struck a deal with fox to have perhaps galactus or silver surfer in there as well not sure how that would fit in with the black panther movie but that would be pretty cool nonetheless because the fox parts the kind of those those parts of the movies the these things where they can just strike deals and things like that maybe that's already been done but well <laughs> flash is back in a big way and i mean wally west flash he it this is one hell of a comic so this is setting up the flash war and the flash war is something which we're probably gonna well, we've been told we'll find out who is the real flash who is the top flash considering we've got dos wally west and we've got barry allen and well we've got jay garrick possibly as well so these guys will be fighting out to see who is the strongest flash now what will lead them to fight well in this we actually see wally west berated by barry allen for not getting his life together in the wake of his return to the timeline now if you will remember if you're picking up this probably for the first time uh well you probably won't have actually read the previous comics where the flash actually went to the 25th century and we saw iris west kill eobard thorn as eobard thorn wanted to show barry that without him the, his kids have turned completely evil and joined the rogues yeah so it's not looking good for them for the flash family at all and iris west is now being arrested for crimes of killing eobard thorn yeah uh, i'm not really sure that's uh that's a really an arrestable offense but the rest of this is really really cool so we've got the the kind of the new kind of future version of the rogues hunter zolomon has returned and he is now the reverse flash and he is in the future and he set up this new version of the rogues and this is all what he's doing now is to try and try and preserve the flash and make the flash better and things like that so he's got his own version of the rogues all complete carbon copies of the future like the golden glider we've got a new version there we've got commander cold instead of captain cold and they are now going to go and arrest iris west which will lead the flash family to really take them on and this was really really good like the artwork and everything's really good we had a really good story with wally west and magenta especially after linda park kind of rebuffed his his advances here and well it looks like he's going to have a relationship with magenta who has suddenly remembered everything and, and wally west seems to have the powers to able to make people remember exactly who he is and kind of mess with the timeline so yeah i thought it was really good a really really good comic really 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 stunning issue i really really did enjoy it. a bit of a high entry price at like kind of four dollars 99 which is about four pounds 70 here in the uk but you get you've got quite a lot of pages you know you've got quite a lot and really the artwork is okay i'm not really a big f i feel like the artwork in the main flash comic is a bit better but you know, it, it's a bit odd it, it's still really really good the whole storyline is really good it's nice to see wally west kind of deal with his home life again we've really just seen him go full pelt being the flash but he hasn't picked up on his life and it's kind of weird that iris has gone who's this new flash when he's been running around with the titans oh, it's really a bit odd there but a really good comic great prelude and well we've got hunter zolomon coming up and this continues on in flash 40 so yeah i will be reviewing that and doing some more on that as well so that's it for this video please drop a like please do subscribe see you soon goodbye